I mean, I'm trying I'm to think. I'm fine with stepping in now and doing an extra lap, but I'm also fine with you doing one more lap and me then stepping in. You can't do one more lap with this car as it is. No, but I mean, Dre stops now, then does another lap, and then stops again, but they will waste more time. Yeah, but equally, we're not necessarily in it for the time, are we? So what we could do is Dre comes in, um, takes the repairs, and then goes out and finishing his stint. I mean, if we're not bothered about time, we could just do that. I'm fine with it. If Dre is as well, then I'm all good. It's really down to you what you want to do, Dre. I'll keep going. So come in this lap, repair, and then... I'll keep going. No, you can't keep going like this. It's uncompetitive. Like, there's a risk here that you'll put it in the wall. It's not worth that risk. Yeah, Just bring the car back safely, get it repaired, and then carry on. You'll, you'll have enough fuel, I think, by the time you get back to do two more laps. Well, he has MT, that's what, you know, his car is drivable. If he puts it in the wall again, it might, we have to get a tow, and that's like minutes. So, yeah, my, my thought is just get the car in, make it drivable again, and then... Because you can see, it's all over the place. We don't know how long the fix will be yet until we get in. The leader is pitting now. Uh, do you want new tyres or not? Uh, no, you can keep them. So we'll have no fuel and no tyres. That should give you enough for two laps to bring it back in. Actually, you can do one full and then bring it in. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, two laps after this, because uh, this is my third lap. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. At the moment, it's enough for 2.6, so we need more fuel or not? No, no. Because if you come in the pits on your second lap, you won't finish the lap, if you see what I mean. No, I will, I will. Okay, Paul, there's a car there. exit in the pit. Leave it as it is, yeah? Watch your speed limit in the pits. Yeah, just... Leave Activate limiter. Box in. 320 meters. We don't have that data. We don't have that data. Okay, no tires, no 100 fuel. 100 meters. 50 meters. There's a lot of broken cars. <coughs> Three minutes. Two. Not too bad. Three minutes. I expected it to be more, to be honest. I expected it to be less. I can't. I put it on the grass there just before the straight, and that, that messed it up. I can't believe it. It's fine. We're it's halfway through the race, it's fine. Watch. Would you like some cake, guys? Mr. Squirrel's homemade cake? Stop showing us food, Paul. I offered you cake! Well, if you can send it via Bluetooth, then I'd gladly accept it, but I can't. Okay. So. Also, why did I say gladly? That's not how you say it. Derp, why would lowering the car help? Listen to that Merc burbling in front of us. Yeah. What a beast of a sound and engine that is. Mm. That sound good. Is Mr. Squirrel ever going to send some cake? Yeah. Next one is in two weeks, isn't it? Yeah. I could do, Hannah. I could send you some cake. Looks like I got to paint another car then. What flavour would you be requesting? I'll see what I can do. I oh, just use paint, it's fine. Let 
This is the weird one, Hannah. This is the... Um, now, where to add a spezzy? Banana, blueberry, down. vanilla and nut or something. But the other thing, Derp, doesn't that risk you, like, damaging the spoilers that are closer to the ground, like hitting curbs and stuff? <laughs> Literally anything other than raspberry or strawberry. Right, okay. I'll be honest, Derp, until we get competitive driving, then the car's, like, secondary to how slow we are, if you see what I mean. Also, according to the setup page, the ride height is already too low anyway, so we can't really lower it. Really? Yeah. It's probably because of the damage, because the, the ride height is all, all over the place on all four corners. Um, Dorian, it's banana, vanilla, nut, and blueberry. <laughs> it's not got everything in it. That engine, though, that Merc engine burble. Yeah, he's off. It take it, you take didn't take the optionals or anything. Did they take the optional way off? Well, it's just that the front damage, spoilers damage and stuff, so I take it you didn't take optionals and things. I had only optionals. You did the optional. Had on the optionals. There was three minutes of optionals. I don't understand no why the car's not perfect then. Well, there weren't required, you know, uh, repairs, but yeah, apparently it doesn't fix it all. Nothing we can do about it, Derp. It's got damage, bro. If the, if the pit crew can't fix that, they can't fix it. <laughs> well, if Dre took all the optional repairs and it didn't fix it, then there's nothing we can do, right? Uh, I, I guess not, Derp. I guess not. Let us know if the car is feeling any better, by the way. Oh, it feels perfect. It's good to know. Cap it's over 19 months. Good afternoon, everybody. Good luck for your race in school. Lucky to be here for another month. Thank you, Captain. Nicholas, I'm planning on getting a complete Fanatec racing set. Wheel pedal shifter. I wonder, did you mount everything to your desk or do you have a special wheel stand? Nicholas, if you do buy Fanatec stuff, can I possibly ask you to click my Fanatec link before you do? But apart from that, what I did was I bought a uh, wheel stand. This particular one is a GT Omega wheel stand. So you you mount the um, you mount the wheel on top here, and you mount the pedals onto the base down there. But I will say that it's not laterally stable. It, it's stable in all directions apart from laterally that way. So I don't know if you can see or not, but I've fitted two brackets here, one on this side and one on the other side, and it's just a strip of metal that I got from B&Q with holes in it, and I screwed one end into the desk, uh, and the other end, on the side here, there's some, like, mounting plates, and I just literally uh, have a, what do you call it, a wing nut, so it's like a bolt wing nut, just holds it in, and when I'm finished, I just undo these wing nuts, um, turn the brackets under the desk, take the wheel out, and that gives me rock solid, rock solid setup, because I don't have like a, a chassis to drop it into, like a proper racing rig. So if you don't have also, that, also in case people didn't know, if you use a referral link, Paul will come and get an installed Fanatec setup himself. <laughs> uh, that may or may not be true. Most likely it isn't. <laughs> I know way Temo Shanti will come do it. Sorry. Oh yeah, you need to ask him, he'll be there. Indeed.
Yeah, exactly. Terms and conditions apply. Skywolf, welcome back. Actually, I think we'll uh, watch for the other car. There's a car approaching. Ten seconds behind him. Let's keep an eye on that guy. Yeah. Yeah, smooth dog. We've done all the driver changes. It'll be we'll be rotating back now. So next up will be Alex again. Then me, then Dre. Uh, I don't think so, Captain JC. I don't believe us in EPO box. What caused most of the damage? Um. Well, it basically hit the wall a couple of times, well, two or three times. I don't think you can really hammer plastic. That's the thing, Dub. The guy behind him is not really catching him up at the moment. Doing well, Drain, just keep it nice and smooth. Uh, Macaroni, I think there's a command for it, mate. Got mods, what's the command? Is it exclamation mark Fanatec or something? I need to put it on the Steam page, right? Screen page. Uh, Northern Alex, how are you doing? 40 months? 40 months, Alex. How are you doing, sir? Are you well? I'm not spoke to you for a bit. I've been super massively busy with my flying stuff, Alex. That guy behind's not catching him up anymore. Yeah, TW, I opened that yesterday, bro. Hang on. Yeah, when I got my PPL yesterday, I opened that. I'll show you. It was from Whiteland. And, uh... I'm doing very well, Alex. Yeah, so yesterday I passed my PPL, which meant I was allowed to open this, which is, a. Uh, from Whiteland, it's a Cessna 172 tie clip. See? If you can see it or not. It's a little Cessna 172 tie clip. So I opened that yesterday. <laughs> hey, cracking. Okay, that guy's catching him again. I did Cobalt here. Yeah. Big day yesterday, really big day. Oh my god. If you want to see, like, for the first hour of yesterday's stream, I, I talk all about the PPL test. <laughs> if you want to watch that, it'll be on Squirrel Plus later. So you're a word, right? It's five seconds behind you, there's a guy uh, that's lapping. So he'll be coming through. He's not massively quick compared to you, though, so it might take some time. I'm just I'll let you know when he's like a second or two. Yeah, yeah, I've got my drive back, Newty. Yeah, they sent me a brand new one. It took them, they had it for like two weeks and then just basically sent me a brand new one. It would have been great if they'd have just done that at the start. Top speed is better as well. Yeah, definitely. What is? Top, Top speed. speed. Last lap it was about 255, and now it's 260 something. I kind of like this wheel actually. It's nice and grippy, it's got a decent button layout, it's pretty good. Dude, Northern Alex, come on. Congratulations to your PPL. I'm so happy for you. This goes towards some fuel. <laughs> you don't have to do this, Alex. Lots so of love from Canada. Thank you, sir. 17th place. 
Guys, I, I know you know who Northern Alex is, but if you don't, go and give him a follow. He's a lovely streamer, great guy. Go and give him a follow. Also on YouTube as well. He's got a great channel on uh, on YouTube. Go and give him a sub there. And he's far too kind. He really shouldn't do that. I keep telling him off for doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats on the PPL was for. Thank you for throwing the bits, sir. Thank you. Is this guy ever going to catch dry out? Well, Alex, if you're ever over in this, in this country again at some point, I'm sure I can uh, take Looks you for like a flight if you want. Airplane fuel prices compared Ready to car one and fuel. Half seconds behind. They're actually pretty similar, bizarrely enough. No, no, like, 100 L costs from. about £1.30 a litre, which is pretty much what fuel costs. It's weird. Alex is streaming when we're sleeping. He shouldn't do. I mean, it's only like five hours, five hours time difference or so. I've seen that car before. Oh, it's a different one. Yeah, it is. It's actually very, it's like the same skin, but a different yeah, tint like of push. color. Yeah. 10 seconds ahead, approximately. For the yellow flag. All right, the Merkel hit him first. Hello. You're tracking a package that says attempted delivery, and I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what that means, Captain JC. It means that whoever you used doesn't doesn't deliver to PO boxes. It basically means they're going to bounce back, because if you attempt delivery to a PO box, it gets there or it doesn't. Obviously, it didn't. Ooh, that was close. Eating a bit of curb though. Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. You can expect that to bounce back to you. Right, Alex, you need to get yourself ready. Indeed. I assume you're talking to me and not the German Canadian Alex. Yes, because I did this Discord, not stream. Well, you've accidentally pressured push it out before, so. <laughs> What curry did you use, Captain JC? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, CBJ. Uh, and thank you for the bits. Nice driving in your stint. I did okay. I wasn't quick, but I was... I, I nearly lost it, though. There are certain couriers that won't deliver to PO boxes. Like, before you send something, you need to say, do you deliver to PO boxes? All right, Alex, have a good day, sir. And tell that scumbag boss you shouldn't be working on Saturday. They take advantage of your good nature, Alex. Oh, Lipa, welcome back. Trey, do you feel like your concentration's going a bit? No, I'm, I'm alright actually. It was around about this lap where my, my brain started to go, oh. <laughs> 23 months, congrats my guy on the test. Thank you, I'm Arlipa. actually enjoying myself now. Yeah. Because the car feels perfect, you know. It takes a bit of time to settle in, doesn't it? Well, no, the problem is, like, first lap I was doing alright, and then I bend it and the car was a bit dodgy so I had to do two laps with a dodgy car. Yeah but we did say to you are you gonna bring it in? Like yeah, and you were no, like no no it's fine. I was stubborn. I was Well, this is all about experience, and we're getting experience in bucket yeah. loads.
Yeah, that's true. Like UPS suck when it comes to delivering to PO boxes. I, I've had people try and send me stuff to the PO box and the courier doesn't tell them they don't deliver. They just take your money and then don't deliver it. It's like, what are you doing? Clearly the address says PO box. I don't get it. There's no logic here against Shrek, there really isn't. Maybe they don't deliver to anybody else's PO box. <laughs> Just remind me to take it easy on the first lap, because I have no idea how the car feels now. Yeah, no. I think even parcel fast don't deliver to PO box. Mind you, parcel fast just don't deliver. So, if it's not too big, you can use Royal Mail. It's a team race skip, yeah. I don't know why, but I love that jump. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna add 65 liters. That should bring us back to about 75. Just looking at the standings, between the leader and seventh position, there's two and a half minutes. <laughs> it's just like huge. It's quite a gap. Right, well, looks like you've set your fuel in the tyres, Alex. Yep. Like I said, I added 65 liters. I've changed to 66, just to be safe. Heroic Spartan, All right. welcome to the net house. Can we give him a nutty welcome? Your place? last stint is going to be shorter anyway. Thank you, Heroic. Right. Welcome to the net house, sir. Uh, yes, I believe so. I'm bringing it home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, by the time we get to another eight litres on it. Right, try box, box, box. I don't know we didn't say hammer time. Pit limiter. Look out for the pit speed limit. Engage limiter. Nice. Box in. 320 meters. We don't have enough data for that. Stop messing around with the gears. We've just been handed a stop go penalty. Wait, handed what? a stop go penalty. You've still got an outstanding penalty. Well, because if you switch, then you speed meters. up. If you change gear, you speed up. Then because you get get 15 before. second penalty. You have to take it on the tri on the chin. Trey, it's all experience. Don't do that in You've the pit. Got three laps to serve this penalty. <laughs> Is there any optional repairs there, um, Alex? No. Just ten second driver swap, and then a fifteen second hold, and then refuel and whatever. I oh, know refuel already happened. It's all Trey's fault now. I, I didn't know that, Pringles. Thanks for letting me know, bro. You can make coffee now in my summer car. I never knew. Serving penalty. I still can't believe that penalty. Come on. The limit must <laughs> only work in first gear. It works in second as well. Captain JC, I'm not entirely the sure, bro. Clear. Um, some people have sent things from the States before, so I know it's doable, but I honestly don't know what they used. Right, Alex, take your time. Get a feel for the car. Yep.
It actually looks more repaired than it did. Is there a wider cockpit view? Yep. If you look in the bottom right, see this camera here, you can see all three screens there. MPR. Um, I, I think it's a case of don't try and run before you can walk. 24 hour race, you know. That that needs to be planned and who's going to do the overnight driving? I don't believe so, TW. I think you can only have one car per team. Well, I don't know. Car feels alright so far. Slowly slip down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there should be no damage on. Huh? It's got a. The leader has spit it. Got nothing 50 seconds in front or behind of you. Yep. Gastus, don't even own it. Mandras, welcome to the night house. Can we give Mandras a look? A lovely nutty welcome, guys. Thank you for your support, sir. Hey, Scouts, good evening. That's quite a fun view. <laughs> That's a good view if you want to be able to see all the writing on the track. Weird when you look at it in the like in the blimp view, it looks like you're hardly moving. Well, just oh, then you saw nothing because of trees. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say, especially when, uh, when there's trees in front. No, but it all looks so calm and relaxed. And then you get back in the <laughs> cockpit and it's like, <laughs> it's just so weird. As I got out of scroll, he moved to the other side of the bonnet. It's a weird view, that one. Rejected by the carousel. <laughs> I 
Which was a good view, MC. Okay, Paul. The Next middle view from inside fellow. looked great on stream. What, the really super wide angle one? Hey, Shawolf. You mean like they look like a VR view? How far into the race? Uh, almost two and a half hours. Oh god, you see me in... That one. The roll bar. You mean that one? That's bizarre. That's such a wide-angle view, it's crazy. It's like, I don't know, Forza FOV. Yeah, the wheel doesn't move, but his hands do. That's so bizarre. The heck is going on? Uh, Milan Radstein, a walker back. His hands are doing this, and the wheel's just sat there. It's like that. <laughs> I think it's the wide angle view makes you look like you're going faster as well. There's definitely still some damage though, because the top speed isn't as high as it used to be. No, you got front end damage on the fairing, so you, you're getting a bit of lift out of it. Yeah. The car behind's pitting now. It, lo it looks like the fast ripper r does it all, but apart from that, yeah. you can't ever get the fairing completely done. To be fair, that's kind of how it is IRL as well, you can never get the car back to it's how it was originally. What was that lap time? Uh, none, as I came out of the pits. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It's a good smooth lap, keep them coming. I'll try my best. Or just get a one next, because why not? <laughs> You can see the car moving in this view. Yeah, you can. The thing is, the amount of road that you can see in this view is minimal. Like, it's 80% is inside the car and 20%. It's like looking through a postage box. Don't like a letterbox. I don't know why these guys prefer this view, it's weird. It's horrible. I think they feel like they're sat in the car with you, that's what it is. Well, to be fair, Twitch chat is also a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's you know weird. It's not all blown out. I just made about a thousand friends, I think. Yep. You guys are pretty weird as well. What? Your view is way worse than we see it, fair enough. I can see quite a few mentions my way now, but I can't read them. Absolutely, they're all backseat driving. I prefer the front bumper cam. I like the front bumper gap, it's pretty cool. Like the, the over the the white front wheel arch. It's quite a nice view. 
It's the same in uh, Euro Truck. You can get a similar view in Euro Truck on the left wheel arch and it looks really nice. Stop with the mansions. They're distracting. Right, the first rule of Twitch chat, Alex, let me just school you on this one. <laughs> don't say something unless you want it to happen, right? So if you say, don't do this, it will happen. Yeah, I'll he is the one driving. Oh, God. And the real irony is, if you say, everybody mention me, they'll do that as well. <laughs> yep, that's why I shut up and didn't say anything more. <laughs> what do you mean, right turn? We're not allowed to right turn. This is NRT. No right turns. Good, thanks, CSGI. How are you doing? At least this mirror looks okay. Alan K, welcome back. That was close to the grass, oh my god. Precision driving right there. You were like millimeters from the grass. <laughs> Stop looking at the stream, Alex. I wasn't even looking at the stream, I was looking at the relative. This might be a good view for the carousel, actually. Whee! It would be a good view if I didn't mess up the carousel. That's twice you've been spat I out know. by the carousel. It just doesn't love me like I love it. Well, that would be grass. Just a 1x. Crack, it's Alex, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You said it a bit less PG than you, but I know. Yeah, Ale uh, Alex Wilson, you need to um, set your time of like 20 minutes for a power nap. Like two hours is basically asleep. <laughs> Slow down. Ooh, flowing up. Okay. What now? Keep going. Okay. I can't believe you actually slowed down. <laughs> well, you told me to. What? This fucking thing. It was from my oh, favourite corner. Yeah, exactly. Grace should know by now I take everything literally.
We're gonna have to ban Tommy, by the way. He called the Dutch flag the Luxembourg flag. That's even worse. Luxembourg? Yeah. Oh, well, I think it was mentioned Belgium before as well. Yeah. And Tom talking about redirected Paul Sokje. Hey, okay. What did I do? I didn't focus on the race. <laughs> I'm still on the track for now. Yeah, Monsters Mikey with the year. Gold cap. It's been an awesome year. Uh, GG on your PPL and well done. Thank you, Monsters Mikey. Thanks for a year. Enjoy your gold caps, sir. So I love how um, me and Alex did a lot of practice on this and Paul comes right, in. Nice Despite laps, the the no issues, nothing 16. whatsoever. <laughs> me and Alex have been. Well, I mean, I wasn't pushing it. I don't know if you was. I wasn't, actually. Just I like, got a bit of grass on the, on the exit there. Also, Paul and me didn't get a uh, spinning in the pit lane penalty. <laughs> that was a unique one. Yep. I'm special. That's what your mother tells you. Welcome, Fon. A few of the three laps. Yeah, the car actually feels nice to drive for the amount of torture it's been through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been abused slightly. Just a bit. So this v is this VLN on every couple of weeks or something? Um, there's one more this season. Two more, right? Two more? I thought in the week of the 13th and of the 29th of October. I remember. Or the 26th or something, I don't know. So that's more in two weeks and four weeks time. Should be. Or maybe just one more that could be as well. There are nine VLN races on iRacing just like in real life. Apparently there's nine in iRacing not real life. Uh, that's the Le Mans series, I believe. No, it's the BLM. There's only nine. Is that just in this season? Then you get another nine in the next season? I don't know. I think it's for the whole year, it might be. You're expecting iRacing to be too detailed it is indeed, what Hannah. they want to do. It's cost for next weekend. There's also one six-hour race. You hear that? There's also one six-hour race in the VLN. Yeah. Crikey! I believe that was the second or third race of this season. It was last month. When we initially said we were going to do it, it was six hours. Oh yeah, true. Twenty-four hour, dude. Can you imagine? So imagine if you were doing the twenty-four hour, like right now, you'd be sat here going, "Well, just another twenty-one hours left." <laughs> Jesus. You'd probably just finish your first stint. <laughs> probably. I don't know. To make a car get to the end of 24 hours, you're going to have to do some pretty safe driving. Yep. I felt the grass there.
Yeah, but if I remember, Kieti, Top Gear didn't finish it because, um, was it May put it into a wall overnight or something? Like, when it got, they were okay until it got to the night time and then just fatigue set in and they just binned it. There's no limit to your X's gasters. What does the minus 9 mean next to the 16? Uh, where are you seeing this? So Pringles called me May at the beginning of the race and you just said that May pinned it in the top of your 24-hour race. Well, I think... That, I don't know if that's true. That was memory. All oh, right. I remember that they were in the 24-hour race and one of them binned it, but I don't know if it was May or Hammond. It was May. It was during the night, I think. Yeah. Well, that's promising for me. Well, we're not doing the 24, so it's fine. True. Like, they were okay right up until the point where it got to night time when it just... It's so tiring in the sleep, you know, fatigue and everything. Team positions window. Oh, right, got you. Actually, can that be wide? I think so. It loves me again. Yeah, I thought so. Now you can get a bit more info just to the right. I think it shows you the... Can you read that, guys? Because it's too small. I've got my OBS shrunk down. Next to NRT now, does it show you the X's or something? I don't know how much more information is on the other side. 16X. Let me move it over a bit more. Try that. There you go. Sixteen X. So we have sixteen X's as a team at the moment. It's not bad, to be fair. It's not. It's not bad at all, really. In what two hours? Almost three, I guess. Two and a half. Mm, two. No way, it's 6 o'clock, 3 hours. Quick mathematics. There's no maximum in the X's. What does 16X mean? So, um, it's basically what they call incident points. So if you go off track, then you get a 1X. Um, if you like lose control of the car, you'll get a 2x. If you hit another car, you'll get a 4x. And combinations thereof, so... It's basically a measure of how how you've kept it on the track, not hit anything, and driven safely. Think of it that way. So the fewer x's you have, the fewer incidents, the better you're driving safely. That's used... That kind of factors into your safety rating calculation.